All right. So with EFT, um, I'll do a setup statement. I do it three times as I've been trained, and then we'll go through the, the points just following along. I'll do a pause. You just uh, repeat back what I say or say it in your head. But it's always better to say it out loud because it more actualizes um, it to your own ears. So taking full responsibility for your own well-being, let's do an EFT tapping on you get what you give. Even though I really want to get that thing. I really want to set that intention. And I want to bring that thing into my life. But am I giving enough? I still love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though I'm giving enough, but I'm not just getting it. And it's not happen happening quick enough. I still love, forgive, and accept myself. Even though it feels like it's just on the horizon. And I'm almost at my destination. But I feel like giving up. I still love, forgive, and accept myself. You only get what you give. You only get what you give. And when I think about what I'm giving, is it enough? Am I truly driving towards my destination? Have I got the intention of being the new me? Am I resolute in being the new me? And what if I haven't gotten what I want? Because I want it now. And I've set my intention. Keep checking my emails. Keep tracking my package. That manifestation just hasn't manifested quick enough. So I'm done with this universe thing. So I just didn't get what I wanted quick enough. So I'm going to give up hope on this. I've lost my drive. Was I truly giving what I wanted? Did I give what I wanted? Is this what I wanted? Did I believe in myself enough? Is my intention because I may have wanted it because other people wanted it? It may have brought them happiness. But it doesn't seem to be bringing me happiness. And do I know what I want? So if I don't know what I want, I might spend the time thinking about what I want. And what brings me value? I might spend that time cultivating my thoughts and my feelings about what I want, not what others want, what I want. And once I find what I want, maybe then the universe will align with me. Now I have the belief in myself. Now I have the drive within myself to drive towards my end goal and bring my manifestation into fruition. Am I giving enough? 
seems like just give and give and give. I just keep on pushing. Nothing seems to happen. And that might be. Or it might be just over that horizon. And if I give up now, then will I get disappointment? Will I get regret that I gave up? Well, maybe if I'm pushing and pushing and pushing, and I'm putting in 100% effort, and nothing seems to be happening, like trying to sail against the wind. Maybe I need to change tactics. Change the course of my direction. I might be still driving towards my direction. My end goal. But there might be other ways to actually achieve my end goal and get towards my end direction. So I might be burning up a lot of energy, swimming upstream, and I need to go a bit more with the flow of it. So I might think about what I'm actually trying to achieve and what stands in my way. And if there's a way around it or a different way of thinking, then I might still get to my end destination that way. And am I just sitting on the couch <laughs> waiting for that package to arrive? I might have even done some breath work. Let's clear some blockages. But you can't blow your sails towards your own destination. It does take some navigation. It might blow the cobwebs out of your head. But if we're thinking clearer, then we might have a clearer perspective of what we want and how to get there. But to get there, a journey of a thousand miles does involve the effort of walking and does involve the effort of getting into a car <laughs> and does involve the the effort of getting all the petrol for that car to get towards that end destination. Because if we truly want what we want in our lives, we have to give in order to receive. We have to perceive in order to conceive. We have to see what we want for ourselves and start to create that reality for ourselves. We have to imagine that life that we want and start to manage the life that we have so we can create this new reality. and truly get what we truly deserve. If what we truly deserve brings happiness for ourselves and happiness and wellness for others. That's not a bad destination to get towards. And I might have to clear some old thought patterns 
and do some repetitions. And look at my life and see what's holding me back. And if negativity is holding me back, I might have to repeat some positive statements to myself that I do deserve, that I am loving of myself. And I'm creating a new reality for myself. And I'm gonna do some repetitions on that. I'm gonna do some emotional reps. I'm gonna hit the emotional gym and clear out those weeds. So what I reap and what I sow will be abundant in happiness, abundance in joy, and abundance in love. And I'm going to enjoy that harvest. I'm going to cultivate myself in mind, body, and soul. Taking a deep breath in. And yeah. Uh, Letting it all go. So yeah, what you give is what you get. Um, so in order for us to receive our new reality, we have to actually start creating things in our life. To draw a picture it takes the effort of sitting down and imagining what you actually want to draw. Same thing with um, setting the intention. Maybe if you've just fought it in your head, maybe that's not enough. Maybe we need to write it down. Like saying that the EFT statements um, out loud it then affirms in your mind, it actualizes, it becomes an actuality, a reality in your mind. Um, so it doesn't become something where we've set something um, and then just hope for the best or we've, or we've even like set a manifestation of what we truly actually want. Like we might've hit the nail on the head of what it is, but then we've set the, the manifestation and then gone back on the couch or just in a way almost forgotten about it because we've got it into the repetition of our life which is taking us away from um, what we actually want to have in our life, our, our actual reality, our manifestation and manner in the manifestation. It takes a little bit of energy, it takes a little bit of magic um, to actually get to what you want. We all have that within ourselves. We all have the ability to create our reality, what we want. And if you don't believe that is, um, what did you want to be for your job? Well, I wanted to be a lawyer. I wanted to be a psychologist, I wanted to be a cleaner, I wanted whatever it is. It's like, then you started to create your reality towards it. You started to put in the study, you started to do it. It doesn't have to be this magical thing. <laughs> it's like, think of it in reality terms. It's like, you actually had to create your reality and you may have got into your end destination and gone, crap, I might've just been doing this because this is what the parents wanted or this is like, <laughs> it's like, but life is a continual thing. It's like, we learn from um, our experiences this wasn't a great experience, I'll then start to navigate and drive myself towards a new reality. So I'm down from reflection. That was probably quite a long talk um, and it wasn't quite the initial talk that I was going to give. That'll be for another one. But yeah, start giving what you actually want to receive back and start creating your new reality. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next intuitive EFT chat and chat but i'm dion from evolution i offer eft tapping and e soma breath online and um yeah and this year i'll start to be actually training towards becoming a tre provider so to actually get that i actually have to put in a lot of work and hopefully by the end of the year i'll be able to offer burping away here offer another service sort of thing my, my stomach's offering its own um input but yeah so i'll catch you in the next intuitive eft tap and chat stay awesome stay positive and start creating your new self